Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 7 of season 2 here in the Youth Road to Glory. We are in the January transfer window. I'm actually not that busy a month with regards to fixtures. We'll play the one against Cambridge. Uh, we'll simulate Northampton. We'll play... No, we'll simulate Walsall and then play Luton, I think. So we'll play both Cambridge and Luton. Three of this month's four games are all at home. So we'll start with a, by playing Cambridge and we'll end by playing Luton. But, of course, we are working our way through the transfer window. Still looking to perhaps pick up a five-star scout if we can finally get one to pop up in the uh, menus. But if I don't, by the end of the month, then I will just buy a four-star, four-star scout just to make sure that, you know, between now and the end of the season we get a decent amount of, uh, of youngsters potentially coming in. One thing I am most certainly going to do in this window right now, though, is try and sign young Andre Franck Bedimo. Uh, he is... Oh, they haven't recently acquired him. He started at the beginning of this season. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, well, maybe I'm not going to try and buy young Frank Bedimo then. I wanted to try and get him in in this January window because, obviously, he's a young player that we believe to be a Samuelito regen that should grow very, very well throughout the course of the save. Unfortunately, it won't let me try and sign him. Uh, 75 to 93 potential for George Jackson. Uh, I mean, there's no, there's no harm in bringing him up now. I think if I leave... Yeah... This is the final month, so I'm going to say no to you. We're definitely going to say no to you. We will say no to you. 81 to 94, that is promising. Uh, we'll sign you. 56 to 78, sorry, we'll say no. 67 to 91, he's still so very young, though. Six foot three, however. I'm going to say no. Uh, 59 to 79, we'll say no there, too. Right. One from Brazil, the final report from Brazil, 69 to 85, I'm going to say no. This guy is a forward player. I'm just going to, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's going to be a striker. But I might end up just immediately releasing him. Uh, 60 to 82, we'll say no. 57 to 77, we shall say no. Right, let me just quickly check the positions of those two kids we just called up. Uh, he's a can. 55 rated. I just quite simply don't need another central midfielder. Uh, or at least another cam, sorry. George Cooper, he's got good physical stats already. So that bodes well. He's already got 64 stand tackle and 63 long shots as well. Uh, I quite like the look of him. I will call him up immediately to the first team. George Cooper, 81 to 94 and 88 to 94 for Schwartz. Few of you saying because Schwartz's potential is locked to 88 to 94, it's quite a small window. I could start training him, and it wouldn't really affect the way that um, he grows. So I might start training English Nicholas Schwartz very, very soon indeed. Quite a number of central midfielders, though. Quite a few that I quite simply at this stage don't need. I've listed a number of the youngsters that I'm not using on the uh, loan list. So we'll have to wait and see if we can move them on in this window. I'll put him on the bench in place of uh, Riley Campbell. Uh, we've, of course, got a new centre-back, Rose, <clears throat> in the last episode. He can play CDM as well, apparently. Uh, De Jong is suspended and Lyle Taylor will be injured for the upcoming game, so Joe Piggott will get a start. We'll just have to wait and see how we get on in today's episode. Do drop the video a like, a thumbs up, if you enjoy. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel too, so... Uh, avoid missing any further content, do hit that notification button as well to ensure that you get notified when a new video goes live. There is a schedule in the description to let you know when new videos go up, but yeah, I'm going to have to take Lyle Taylor out for Joe Piggott because he's injured, and I'm also going to have to take De Jong out because he's suspended. I might as well throw Jackson in. Why not? Let's see what he's all about, shall we? And we'll throw you there. there let's swap them around. Right, okay. Heading into this first game of the episode then against Cambridge. Then we'll simulate the next two. And uh, and then we will play Luton at the end of the month. And we'll see if we can get any more. Uh, actually, no. Hang on. Let me send my youth scouts out again. Let's set them up on a new uh, mission. Now, someone said try the Netherlands for physically strong players. So that's what we will do. Physically strong. We'll try that for three months. And we'll send you and McDonald... Um, to Italy for 
attack. No. Let's let's go back to South America. We didn't have much luck in Brazil, but let's try Argentina for attackers, and we'll see if we get any luck there. We'll have to wait and see. Right, I'm going to go and play Cambridge, and then we'll jump back to the transfer window. Well, it's four, four, out wide here today, to Harrison Dunk. Cambridge have been yo-yoing in the table, in and out of the relegation zone all year. We played them in pre-season, of course. That's a great ball in. Thankfully, Bennett reacts. We played them in pre-season and drew 1-1. And uh, I believe the game I simulated earlier on in the year, we were victorious in. But we'll have to wait and see if they've made any improvements on field or if I've made any improvements on field. And if we can better the 1-1 result we got in pre-season, I would be thrilled, although we are missing... A couple of first-team players, of course, with uh, the suspension and the injury. I'm also playing a couple of rotation players, too, mainly just because of stamina. Of course, we have a game in two days' time as well, which doesn't necessarily help against Northampton, but we'll try our best to maximise our potential points all from the four games in January and maybe squeeze ourselves back into the top two automatic promotion spots again. Uche. Oh, lovely ball into Aziz, but unfortunately for Cambridge, he can't finish. First chance of the game goes the way of the home side after 10 minutes, but it was pretty comfortable for the keeper to just watch fly over the top of the bar. Note to self, don't get in any physical encounters with Uche. Here is Uche, out wide. Good cross, drops the shoulder well, then comes the cross. Dimitri brings it down and tries to get rid of it, and he wouldn't. And it's going to drop, and they are going to score. That was a clusterfuck, wasn't it? I tried to clear it, and he... It just wouldn't happen for me. Right, Cambridge 1, Wimbledon nil. Not the start I was after, unfortunately. Throw that in there to pick it, just to hope that he's strong enough to hold the defender off. She wasn't, but we've still got possession. Here's Jackson on his debut, looking to maybe get an assist. Finds Lugano, might get in that assist. Oh, trickling towards the bottom corner. But trickling wide in the end. Good touch and turn, but unfortunately the shot rather scuffed past the post. Uche with the turn. We'll pick that off. Thank you. McCall. Oh, it's Paul. Bingoya forward to Brown. It's a nice turn. Charlie Brown. Oh, dinks that over beautifully. And Aziz, that's well, well wide. He has not got his shooting boots on today, does he? Out to Halliday. Dunk. Forward there to Uche. Back to Dunk. Trying to step in here, but Giovanni Brown gets away from me. Still going. Aziz. I think that was going off target, but Bennett felt the need to make the save. Corner will come in from their goal scorer, Piero Mingoya. It's a decent whip as well. Up goes Bradley Halliday, flick towards the back post. Oh, I don't know whether that's good defending at Martin Tyler, actually. He just kicked it up, not necessarily away. Giovanni Brown finds Uche, trying to out-muscle him. Dimitrov does very well, actually, because Uche, quite the physical specimen, Uche Piazzu, but we're able to get the ball off him, and we'll clear the ball away. Just over half an hour in been pretty underwhelming here. The side not playing to its full potential or even close to it right now. We are the top goal scorers in the league, but I'm yet to really have any proper chance on goal. We had that Lugano uh, scuffed effort earlier on. I just knocked this in front of the man that's in front of me there. Bell with, oh, with Dimitrov. We'll take the corner. No, we won't take the corner because McCall's going to take a touch even though I asked him to leave it. Never mind. Still 1-0 Cambridge. Jackson, I'm going to fire that to Quezzi. Gives it under control well. Driving forward well too. Pull that back there to Jackson. On debut. Spins. Jackson. Oh, good save by David Ford. Nearly able to get a goal on his debut and pull us back level there. McCall will deliver the cross. Up goes Cooper. Did that take a deflection off the defender? It didn't, unfortunately. Trying to just glance it towards that back post. But didn't quite get enough on it to find that back bottom left corner. Struggling to get myself any clear-cut chances on goal in this game. We've not been good enough against Cambridge. Yes, it's not a full-strength side, but it's still no excuse. Quezzi could find Piggott here, though, and Joe Piggott doesn't find us an equaliser. Another good save by Ford. There's two chances we've had in this second half already in the opening 10 minutes. We are getting better in front of goal, but we're still not good enough. Ruiz with the header, but that one's tame and simple for the keeper as David Amu comes on for Cambridge United. Amu using that pace and those fresh legs. Ball in. It's not the best, but Uche does get there, and not really too sure what's going on the marking there, but the defender nowhere near Harrison Dunk as it came in. The keeper seemed to be a lot <sighs> too far across towards his near post there as the ball came across. He almost went past the post. Just keeping an eye on Bennett's positioning. 
Yeah, Cooper just didn't pay attention. I don't know where Cooper was going. And uh, Cooper didn't pay attention to uh, the runner, Harrison Dunk. Nutmegged. Cooper comes flying across, but he's nowhere near it. 2 0 Cambridge. And I think that might be game over, unfortunately. Inside to Deegan. Out to Jake Carroll. It's a decent delivery, actually. Underneath that is a move, but he's headed it straight at Bennett. I've made a couple of changes, but it's too little too late. It's mainly just trying to maintain fitness for the players that are going to be involved against Northampton in two days' time in the simulated game. Oh, that sums up my game, doesn't it? Trying to pass it through a gap and kicking it straight at the defender. Barry Kors come off the bench and he's just kicked it straight at me as well. So clearly I'm not the only one that's struggling. Pick it, I'll try and dink that for Quezzy. Can we get one back? Goal difference could be important at the end of the season. Quezzy, it's a good save. There's Piggott. We've pulled one back. Even though we're not going to get a point from the game, that could still be a very important goal come the end of the season. Even if you are going to lose, minimalising the damage done is always a positive. At least we can take something from the game, even if it's not going to be any points. I just need to avoid conceding a third now in stoppage time. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. Halliday into Amu. Nice little drag back. Cross comes in. Keeper almost didn't come for that. Punches it towards Harrison Dunk. All right, blow your final whistle. Let me off. Get rid of this, please. Someone close him down. It's Jake Carroll. Oh, God. Jake Carroll's wrong-footed me. Ball in. Keepers come to punch again. Win this header, please, Jackson. Well up, lad. And that should be... No. Don't even think about it, Gary. Oh, keep that in. That will most certainly be now as I hoof it away full time. Right, a 2-1 defeat against Cambridge. Really disappointing. Not good enough. But... Such is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Barnsley win by two goals to nil. Frustratingly, Wigan were drawing 1-1 at half-time and they've won three goals to two against Burton, which sucks. Uh, Blackburn lost to Peterborough, though, so Blackburn losing does us a favour with regards staying third. Uh, we had a transfer offer in for Dimitrov that I shall, of course, be rejecting. Uh, suspension's over for Samuel De Jong, which is good news. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we don't stay third. That point for Blackburn moves them above us now, but... Our goal difference is better than theirs and would be level with theirs if we hadn't gotten that last minute goal against Cambridge. So, And actually, that makes our goal difference joint best in the league with Brentford and better than Barnsley's. So, honestly, just managing to minimalise the damage done by that defeat could very well be uh, the sort of goal that saves our season or saves our promotion come the end of the year. Morrison's actually grown quite well now. So we might have, although still only got 60 positioning, which sucks. Uh, I'm going to go and re-jig the first team because, of course, I've got a number of players uh, swapped around and then we'll simulate Northampton. Right then, let's get this Northampton game played and hopefully won. I'd like to take at least something from it. Quezzy is near... Oh, Ruben Hara scores from the penalty spot again. We've had a number of penalties scored by Hara this season. Quezzy Appiah is near the top of the goal-scoring charts this season, actually. He's had a very good year. Lyle Taylor, obviously, last year did very well. Wright, you and Wright picking up a second. This could be a good result for us. Lugano coming on for De Jong. Had to start Piggott ahead of Taylor. Taylor, on his way back from injury, is fit. Or at least, is not injured, but he's got about 15% stamina. And Hara scores a second penalty to give us a 3-0 win. That's good news. That's gone much better than the previous game against Cambridge United. Now, let me just quickly swap Piggott for uh, Lyle Taylor again, as you can see. Well, he's dead now. I think he might have come on towards the end there and been substituted on, so he's got practically 0% stamina now. But we've got a full week between... In fact, it may even be two weeks, actually, till the uh, the next game. Let's have a quick look. Uh, no, it's not. We've got... Well, no, yeah, I guess it almost is, isn't it? Uh, two weeks to Warsaw, and then we'll play the game against Luton. I'm just going to try it again and have a look and see if it will let me try and buy Bedimo. Uh, uh, aren't looking to negotiate his leave. I loan him? Oh, I could loan him. All right, let's try loan him then. I could try loan him for the rest of the season and then I'll try and buy him. I'll try and buy him at the end of the year, maybe. Sure, we're happy to let... Oh, thanks. This could be great. Uh, I don't mind paying all of his wages. He's only on £1,300 a week. Right. Wonderful. Well, hopefully he'll accept the loan deal. Uh, some of you reckon that Falco isn't a Polo regen. I'm not sure. He's 19, actually, at uh, 56 rated, so maybe he isn't. I'll remove him from the list. Uh, there are a couple of other regens that we could look for at the end of this season, but Zlatan's going to be the main one that I'm after. To be fair, 
we have very good players in a number of positions now, other than striker. Striker is really the only position. He's rejected the loan move to Wimbledon. Fine. Well, I'll try and buy him next year. <sighs> That's really frustrating. I was really hopeful that I could bring him in. It's really annoying. What I might do, actually, is just check the free agents and see if there's uh, any more free agents have been added to the list. I don't know as there will have been, but it's worth having a look, I suppose. We are a couple of weeks further on from where we started as well, so we can have a look at the scouts and see if we've got a five-star, or at least a four-star, that I might contemplate signing. Let's have a look. Youth staff. And... Oh, there you go. Callum Moore. Five-star judgment, four-star experience. Welcome, Callum. Thank you very much. Right, that's that done. He's English. We will send him to England for three months and I will look for... Uh, physically strong. I'll look for physically strong. Right, that's that done and dusted then. We have three really good scouts now. Hopefully, we'll get some positive, uh, positive players coming through in a month's time. I'm excited about that, actually, because we haven't had that level of scout be used yet so fingers crossed we might see a couple of gems pop up Cristiano Ronaldo wins the player of the year award and there you can see as I mentioned a moment ago Quezzi third on the list of top goal scorers to be fair Ruben Hara there in fourth number of penalties that he scored so far this year uh, Lugano wants to start the next game he won't start but he is on the bench isn't he pretty sure he's on the bench indeed he is I might start him go on then I'll give you a start considering you asked politely I'll give him a start for this game. We'll see how he gets on. It's Walsall up first, and then we'll play Luton. But hopefully we can get a win. In fact, that victory in the previous game has seen us move back up to third, but not at the expense of Blackburn. Actually, it's Wigan that have dropped from second down to fourth. Uh, and they've got... Oh, Wigan are playing Blackburn, as you can see on the right-hand side. That's a big, big game. We've gone one up through Dimitrov, who's probably not that far off the top goal scorer charts himself, actually, this season. Cambridge go one up against Northampton. We've scored a second through De Jong. And hopefully we can extend the lead again, but I'd be quite happy with a 2-0 win. Just keeping an eye for uh, the other games involving teams in and around us. I saw uh, Barnsley go one up, I believe. Wait and see what the league table looks like. We are up into second. We're above Wigan now on goal difference. Quite significant goal difference as well. Our goal difference now much better than it was. Still, though, matching Brentford's, which is weird. Uh, transfer offer for Dave Walker, my starting left-sided midfielder that I will reject. Uh, and then Lugano's happy to have played the last match. You're more than welcome, my man. I will now take you out and put uh, Hara back in. But I'm really pleased with uh, the way things are going this season so far. The odd hiccup here and there. But we are having a very oh, much improved season on uh, year number one. Of course, we only managed to finish 19th in year number one, it looks like. We're at least in the hunt for automatic promotion. If not, we'll get automatic promotion this year. Everybody's growing nicely with regards to their training too. We'll advance as far as the next game against Luton and then play that. And fingers crossed, come away with a victory. In, in a week's time. See if we get any other offers in, actually. There aren't really any players that... Oh, Joe Piggott pre-contracts. That's fine. I don't I don't mind about that. I don't mind about that at all. We've bought all of the scouts we want to buy. So at the minute, any money raised... Or... Oh, ah, yeah, he's going to go. That's good. And a loan bid for Lucas Clark, which I shall accept. Hopefully he goes out on loan to Exeter. That would give him some extra first-team football. Number of youngsters out on loan now. But we shall go and play Luton. We are four points away from the top of the table, so we can't go top with a win. But we might be able to extend the lead over Wigan to a points lead rather than just a goal difference lead if we can win. Although Luton there in seventh are chasing the playoffs, so this isn't going to be easy. Berry down the line to Jake Jervis. Takes any stride well, crosses well, and... Danny Hilton with the flying Robin Van Persie-esque header that goes over the bar. That would have been a hell of a goal. Lyle Taylor. Back to Hara. Across to Cooper. Down the line there to Lyle Taylor who's turned well. De Jong's making a great run and I look to feed him through. And Samuel De Jong 
gives us a 1-0 lead. That is a very nice goal. I immediately feel the difference between the side that I played against Cambridge and this one here against Luton. There is a vast difference between my first team and those that are just still cracking on, the new signings that are still in the late 50s. Just showing how far we've come this year because last year every game felt like the one against Cambridge. In just the opening nine minutes here, it feels completely different. That's just a, a great positive sign of how far the side has come and hopefully in due course, when we do have to rotate in future, the reserve-ish side will feel more like this as everybody continues to grow and we bring in a few new signings as well. And hopefully, if we do get promotion this season, which I'm really hoping we will, next year in the championship, we should be able to finish solidly top half. I hope. I hope. But let's get promotion first, shall we? Before we start thinking about next season. Danny Hilton. Back to Mpanzu. Forward to Hilton. Into Berry. Back to Mpanzu. To Berry again. To Hilton. We might be playing well, but we can't forget that Luton are a very good side as well. In real life, they're pushing for the title in League Two. Although, they did lose this weekend. And unfortunately for them, actually, and unfortunately for a former Cambridge United player, Luke Berry, who's on the pitch for them here, had a rather nasty injury. He's got, he's, he went in for a challenge. His studs got caught in the ground. And he uh, ended up dislocating his ankle and severely damaging his... Uh, ligaments so wishing him all the best with regards to recovery but hopefully in-game Luke Berry doesn't do anything against me here although he did win that physical encounter there with Hara try and close him down which I haven't been able to do it's a good ball over but Marion Ruiz is on hand to get rid of the ball Jervis McCormack intercepted by De Jong nicely done Hara around the corner there to right I'll go to Quezzi first then to Taylor Try to steal it off the defender, which he's done well, and drop the shoulder on the secondary man. Lyle Taylor in the box. Dangerous position. Good save by the keeper. Kind of forced myself a little bit too far wide there and arrowed the angle a little bit too much. But it was still a decent effort after the half hour, or about the half hour. Still the one goal to nil. I'd like a second, because Luton are definitely a side that could cause me problems and uh, create a few chances of their own. But whilst we're in front, I'll be happy enough. Very. Danny Hilton, nice tackle, Sensi, God. both in a physical battle there, both stumbling, but we do come away with the ball. Can we build anything on the counter? That is the question. Here's Quezzi into Lyle, Quezzi will go again, Quezzi will go again, and across, and you and right. Oh, I, I didn't feel comfortable enough to hit it first time. Thought he'd just fluff it, so I settled myself and then tried to pick my spot. Perhaps I should have hit it first time with right there to ensure that I scored, but I felt I stood a better chance by taking my time. Evidently, I was mistaken. That really should have been 2-0. Perhaps I should have shot with Quezzi as well. Who knows? I thought I stood a better chance again by squaring it across. If they go at the other end and score, thankfully Luke Berry can't shoot, at least on his left foot. We stay 1-0 in front. Jervis. Oh, it's a good ball in. Oh, Danny Hilton has the strength to hold off the defender. You might well have your head in your hands, Sensi. Not good enough from you. Danny Hilton squeezes them back level at 1-1. Just as we have a good opportunity at the other end, they go and score. Dimitrov. Lyle Taylor. Young. Lyle Taylor. Should be. No. Walker. Oh, finish, Sunshine. Yes. Just two minutes after they went back at 1-1. I mean, Lyle Taylor should have finished the first effort. But Walker has lashed that home. What a goal. Don't underestimate how good a first time hit that is from just a 66 rated player. That's ridiculous from Dave Walker. Only his second goal of the season and a very important one. All right. oh, Jesus, what was that? Terrible is what it was. Jake Jervis. Options. Cook. A wide to Justin. To Perry, backing in, spinning well, Hilton, whoa, nearly scoring at the near post again, good save by Bennett, corner's come in from McCormack, whipped in, and Berry brings it down, Hara takes it off him, counter, counter, let me run, Quezzi, 
Oh, it's not the best of balls. Can I get away from pots? I'm trying my best. Not really going to get there. I'll float this towards the back post where, oh, Lyle Taylor won't win the header. Brilliant. It's a lovely ball by Bell into Ruben Hara. We use the right side of my midfield first before looking for Lyle Taylor. Cut inside. Nicely done. Keep going. Get it to Quezzi. Through. Lugano. Oh. My clinical finishing in front of goal is not there today. I've had a number of one-on-ones in both games that I just have not been able to tuck away. As long as we get three points in this, though, so that's the most important thing. Here's Potts. Cross comes in. It's a very good delivery in Ruiz. Heads away. Lugano to right. Lyle Taylor down the line. Just get away from the defender. Show some strength. That's a foul. We'll take it. We'll take it. Come on then. Let's go short into number 14. It's Lugano. There's Sensi. Exactly the man I wanted to find in that position. But Sensi, oh, can't put away that one on one either. But to be fair, you don't expect your six foot five centre back to be clinical in front of goal. Oh, he hasn't really got one goal, of course, this season. He very nearly managed to get his head to that for another. Good ball in. Unfortunately, they're going to clear it. Only nine minutes to go, though. But there's only two defenders back here to deal with four Luton offensive players. Danny Hilton gets away from one man. Trying to force him wide, which he's done well. He's looking to cut inside, though, which he's done well. Finish! Danny Hilton! Luton 2, Wimbledon 2. We might not get that win. Lee around the corner there to Ray. Oh, not strong enough. Cook, please get there. Thank you, Gera. I'd love a last-minute winner. That would suit me down the ground. Lugano looking to feed through Lyle Taylor. Got announced as man of the match, but unfortunately I didn't really think he deserved it. Nor has he really done anything of note throughout the game. It's a lovely ball through. I said I wanted a last-minute winner. They might still get it. What an awful attempted clearance from Cooper. And please get rid of this. Bell will head behind for a corner. There is still danger, Martin Tyler. Very much so. Corner for Scott Cuthbert to take. We'll head that way with Bell. And I want a counter, but I'm hoping the referee will blow his final whistle. Thank you, mate. A 2-2 draw against Luton. I perhaps should have won that, arguably. There's not even any argument about it, is there? I should have won that. Never mind. Cambridge won. Well done, lads. Barnsley won, frustratingly. Wigan also won. So I think that will knock us out of second. Blackburn. Oh, I just I was looking for Blackburn. I saw them, but then didn't see their result. We are still third then. We dropped from second back down to third. We are yo-yoing in and out of those automatic promotion spots. But all in all... It's been another good episode for us. Two wins and a draw and a defeat. But, you know, two wins and a draw. <laughs> Seven points today. We're on 60. We're only two points behind Wigan. We will finish the transfer window today, of course, as we finish the month of January. And then in the next one, we will push forward and uh, play the full month of February. But let's have a look. What is that email? Uh, oh, Lucas Clark has been loaned out to XT. He agreed to go. Right, let's uh, finish the transfer window then. I'm not looking to do anything else myself. Biggest deal so far this window. Paco Alcacer from Barca to Inter for 34.9. William Jose, William Jose from Sociedad to Atleti for 47.5 million. And Timo Werner to West Ham, 49.1. Which is a pretty big deal. See if there's anything major that goes down uh, on transfer deadline day. Only 30 million spent to this point. And still only... Oh, no, uh, 60 million. That just all of a sudden doubled, didn't it? Any big ones there? Renato Sanchez to Werder Bremen on loan. Of course, we, I'd love to have a player like Renato Sanchez in my starting lineup, but I can't because he's not a regen, you see? And it's a regen-only career mode, of course. I'm so annoyed that we weren't able to get that striker in on loan. I mean, can I try and get him in on loan again? Am I even allowed to do that? To try and renegotiate and see if he actually wants to come in? Uh, if I ask again... I mean, I'll try, just on the off chance. I'll try again. I'll try again, but I'm pretty sure he'll say no. Uh, Short-term loan. Only want him until the end of the season. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I'm quite happy to pay all of his wages. It's not a problem. 
Uh, please say yes this time. Please say yes this time. Please say yes this time. Five hours to go in deadline day. An email. And he's rejected the move. Well, it's not going to happen, is it? Unless I can actually buy him, which will have to wait until the summer. Because they weren't keen on selling him in this window. It genuinely just wouldn't let me buy him. No massive deals going through with regards to the top three. Although £230 million has now been spent on uh, deadline day. We will do a quick rundown of all of the biggest deals in this window once we've finished this 31st of January countdown. Uh, Pre-contract offer to Quezzy. Now, the frustrating thing is that I did extend Quezzy's contract, but he wouldn't accept anything other than a year like when I renegotiated. So I tried to renegotiate before, and it, it told me I wasn't allowed to, but I'm gonna, I'll renegotiate now. I tried to do it in... Um, I'll just say crucial. I tried to do it in December, and it said I, he's just agreed one. I wasn't allowed to. See, he wants a year again. I'll counter and ask for two. Okay, good. I don't want to lose Quezzy at this stage, because I haven't got any other bloody strikers. I'll offer you three and a half. I've got the money, so might as well. Three and a half thousand pounds a week. And, okay, good. Right, that's Quezzy's contract extended then. Hopefully, he doesn't accept whatever bid it is that's come in from someone else. Which he shouldn't be able to do, but with it being FIFA, it might be like, oh, Quezzy shined here as well. New squad monthly report just catching up. Ah, oh, Nicholas Schwartz is now 16. Good news. Let's call him up. And as previously mentioned, as of the next episode, I will start to train him. Uh, but let's have a look and see then what the biggest deals were in January. Keep an eye on the left for the dates. Team of only 49.1. William Jose and then... What was the other one? It was Paco Alcatel, wasn't it? With the three biggest. Jonathan tar has gone to Dortmund for 34.4. And the other January ones? Benzema to Juventus for 33.6. That's an interesting deal. Gonzalo Juedes to Manchester City for 33.5. And Donate to Stoke for 32.6. Big deal. Luka Modric to AC Milan for 31.1. Socrates to Arsenal for 28.9. These are all big name deals. Uh, Otavio to Leipzig for 24.5. Martin to Villarreal. Ben Davis has gone to Germany to Borussia Mönchengladbach for 24.2 million. We saw about Iniesta to City in the summer. Uh, Di Maria to Chelsea for 22.6. An interesting one. Havertz has gone to Everton. Kai Havertz. Uh, Lars Stindl to Leipzig. Dinier to Spurs. Oh no, it was the first of the... Eighth, never mind. I just saw 01 was like, oh, January. Uh, Kondogbia has gone to Hamburg for 19.4. Near the bottom of the list now. Uh, Mitchell Weiser to AC Milan for 18.3. Joel Campbell to Inter for 18.3. And that's the bottom of the list. So that's where we'll end the month of January. In third place still in the league, but now with a five-star scout and a couple of new additions to the starting lineup. So, or to the squad at least. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, hit that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't, I'll see you next time.